You had your collard greens, cornbread, and your sweet potato pie too. But did you know Jesus loves you? You've had your Gucci, your Prada, all the makeup jewelry in the world that one could buy. But did you know? Some two thousand years ago, Jesus died and rose again just to save your soul. You had your way for quite some time. I just want you to consider trying Jesus. And I know you might say that you're Christian and that you even follow him, but have you considered? That he wants all of you, that he wants all of you, not half of you, not partially, but all of you. Have you considered that he's a jealous God and he says that no one will get his glory, no one goes before him. He's the first and the last, Alpha and Omega. Give your life to Jesus, try Jesus, try Jesus. Put the collard greens down, put the product down. I need to put myself in down. Try Jesus, try Jesus. Give him your life, give him your life, give him your life today. Holiness of hell always. And I know y'all say we're too judgmental. Have you read your Bible, really? Have you read your Bible, really? Cause everything we say comes straight from the Master's heart. And He loves us. He's a God of mercy and of perfect judgment, too. Have you considered giving your all to Jesus? Have you considered giving your all to Jesus? Have you considered being born again and living holy for the Savior? Have you considered that he's coming back soon and that time is winding now? And you, like me, get caught up on these old physical vain appearances and things and pleasing everybody else and we gotta stop and remember what we were put here for. Jesus saves, Jesus saves to the utmost every day. Jesus saves, doesn't matter your habit, your situation, or what you're struggling with, or what sin you need to be delivered from. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And if you're already saved, we still need to hold on. We still gotta hold on to God's unchanging hand. David wrote Psalms 51 and he was already saved. When he committed adultery, he was already truly saved. Fire baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. But he struggled in the flesh and he messed up, but he truly repented. That's the difference. And God forgave him because he had a heart for God's own heart. So if he wrote Psalms 51 and he was saved, how much more does everybody else need it who's not even truly saved or truly born again or truly humbled it all to Christ? We're all filthy and unworthy, but we still got to be born again and filled with the Holy Spirit and living holy. Ain't no getting around, holiness of hell. Ain't no getting around, ain't no getting around. You can't be messing around on God. He's a jealous God. You got to you got to you got to be hot or cold. There's no lukewarm. And it ain't about makeup. It ain't about jewelry, it ain't about wearing pants, it's about being holy. It's about being clean and purged on the inside and living by His Holy Spirit. Have you considered giving your 